Is that really a 3070 if they disable access to 10% of the CUDA cores? Yeah. And that's not mentioned anywhere here on the product description page. Nice job, Dell. Or Alienware, you know, Dell Alienware. So we're claiming that we've got an RTX 3070 in here. And I mean, technically, there is an RTX 3070 in there. But it will not operate according to its specifications. What am I talking about? OK, let's go back a few days. So uh, three days ago, we started seeing uh, posts like this pop up on Reddit forums and various other hardware-related forums. Let me pop out of your way here real quick. Boom. Slide to the side. OK, so we started seeing posts like this. You know, software issue or Dell selling reduced core 3070 in the M15R5. Just received my M15 R5 with an RTX 3070. Benchmarks seem a little low. Hmm, popped open GPU-Z and noticed the CUDA core count, which should be 5120, but is listed at 4608. In other words, if you're you know not uh, up on all of this, basically, CUDA cores are one of the main things you know used to like process things when you're using a GPU. And a certain GPU is advertised as having a certain amount of CUDA cores. Now, laptop CUDA cores are already usually cut down from their desktop counterparts. So the laptop 3070 already doesn't have as many CUDA cores as a desktop 3070. But it's supposed to have 5120 according to NVIDIA specs. However, when monitoring on this particular laptop, it was reporting at 4608. That's like a 10% drop in what we should have. OK, so what's going on here? Is that a mistake? Well, that's the big question. First of all, it does appear that that's all that was accessible in gaming. Now, users did then flash to a different vBIOS that, uh, BIOS that's from a different uh, different laptop. I just dropped my phone. We're still recording. Whatever. Anyway. <laughs> um, so flashing to a different one for a different similar laptop does then get the correct core count. So what's going on here? Did Dell just ship this like with a mistake in the vBIOS? Hmm. Well, let's see. We've had some follow-ups here. And it, I don't know. In some ways, it's a solution. But in other ways, I feel like... Dell seems even more shady now. OK, so I found this video car cards article this morning following up on the story. So apparently, uh, Jared's Tech was doing some laptop reviews um, over on you know YouTube. And in his benchmarks, he was noticing that, you know, I'll actually get out of your way now. OK, <laughs> he was noticing that this Alienware M15 R5 with the Ryzen, compared to all these other 3070s, is definitely benchmarking low. It was by far the worst of the bunch. Not too far behind this Omen, but you know, I mean, compared to like 123 frames per second, I mean, there's a big difference here between the low end and the high end on how these things are performing. This one's definitely the bottom of the bunch. So he contacted Dell about this, and here was the reply. So CUDA core counts per the NVIDIA baseline may change for individual OEMs, such as ourselves, to allow to provide a more specific design and performance tuning. Tuning? They spelled tuning wrong, but that's just getting petty on my part. Anyway, <laughs> but what are they saying here? They're saying that they can tune down the CUDA cores. That's the first I've ever heard of a card literally just like not using the CUDA cores that it's supposed to uh, for, you know, performance tuning. It's supposed to perform better. How did that go for you, Dell? How did that go for you, Dell? Did, did your tuning really, you know, drastically improve the performance compared to all the other people using a 3070 in their laptop? Yeah, looks like it did great. Anyway. Be assured that the changes made by our engineering team for this computer model was done after careful testing and design choices to bring the most stable and best performance possible. <laughs> Sorry. Um, for our customers. If at a later date more CUDA cores can be unlocked via a future update, we will be swift to make it available on our support website. 
Okay guys, look, this is all for performance tuning to give you the best and most stable performance possible. Now stability maybe is actually a concern if this was done intentionally, but if they're trying to claim this was for performance, um, okay. How bad was the performance before you disabled 10% of the CUDA cores? Because clearly you're already the bottom of the barrel on this one, Dell. Anyway, now what makes this even worse is that Tom's hardware also got a reply for this issue, and it's a different response. So, when Tom's hardware leaked out, uh, sorry, reached out, here's what they got. We have been made aware that an incorrect setting in Alienware's vBIOS is limiting CUDA cores on the RTX 3070. Wait, incorrect setting? Perform best performance possible for our customers? Which one is it, Dell? Which one is it? Hmm. Anyway, so this is an error that we are working diligently to correct as soon as possible. Um, um, these were done after careful testing and design choices. Be assured that these changes were made by our engineering team for this computer model it was done after careful testing and design choices. This is an error that we are working diligently to correct as soon as possible. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're exp <laughs> expediting a resolution through validation and expect to have this resolved as early as mid-June. In the interim, we do not recommend using a vBIOS from other... I keep saying BIOS and BIOS. I've heard it both ways. I think BIOS is what most people say. My bad, guys. Anyway, from other Alienware platform. Uh, to correct this issue. We apologize for any frustration this has caused. And what he's referring to there is things like this, where um, this Redditor is flashing to a vBIOS from a different, similar laptop, the R4. And the, the, it is true that flashing to one that's designed for a different TDP, a different system, could cause some stability problems. And I think we, I did see that when I scrolled down through the Reddit post. So, okay. I'm popping back on screen. Dell, Alienware, guys, can you at least get your story straight? If you're gonna lie about things, pick which lie you're gonna go with. Or, you know, just tell the truth. But these seem like completely incompatible stories. Dell does not have their story straight. So hopefully it's true that by mid-June they'll have this problem solved. But considering they're obviously either lying here about this being some kind of unintentional error, or they're lying here about this being something they did intentionally for performance tuning to great, give great stability and performance. Um, all we know for sure is that they're lying. The question is which one is the lie, right? Uh, I, I'd lean towards, you know, this one being the lie. Okay, now, last thing I'll mention is I did see some people speculating that, oh, this is some big conspiracy because this is a Ryzen series and then they'll have their Intel series come out, you know, with the 3070 and perform better. And it's this, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't think there's much to that, but, you know, feel free to put on your tinfoil hats if you like. Anyway, uh, the GPU Z, uh, you know, uh, screenshots here if you wanted to confirm the drop in CUDA cores that's being reported and all of that. Anyway, guys, I just like to use my tiny little YouTube voice to shame big companies that are clearly lying about things and not treating their customers right. So, what do you guys think about all this? I do read every comment in my comment section. I reply to as many as I can. And I hope that you guys have an excellent day. And thank you, subscribers, you're beautiful people.